the hit right off the back, guys, right next to the boat. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, yeah, that's a real good fish. Oh, my gosh. Welcome back to Fishing with Ants. I got the Pelican off the caravan trailer, and it's all ready to go. Uh, there's nobody here. It's a, it's a beautiful day here, 60 degrees, 65 maybe even. So I'll check the water temperature once I get out there. Something I'm going to follow back up on is... Uh, the uh, manual power pole, if you will, or the uh, the uh, manual the pole anchor system, and, uh, and Max cast fishing. Got to give props to him. Great channel, and uh, he told me he suggested maybe trying to because the uh, the housing there for the pole was falling away from me whenever I was trying to anchor to strap a uh, ratchet strap underneath the boat and hook it to the other uh, handle. So that's what I did. This is what I'm gonna try to do. I'm not sure you can see that, but uh, I think it's gonna work. We'll see. And also, I have a little longer pole today. Um, I have the full 10 feet. So hopefully, uh, I'm able to find a spot and see if this thing will work. But uh, anyway, I'd like to catch a few fish. We'll see. Um, I'm sure this place was crowded on Saturday with all the trout fishermen, but there's nobody here now. So I'm gonna go after whatever will bite my line. Uh, Thanks for joining me today. See you on the water here in a few minutes on fishingwithdance.com. Hey guys, check out the water temperature. It looks like it's about 53, 52, 53. Looks like it's still dropping. So really about, looks like it'd be about 53 degrees. Which should be pretty good, so I don't know. Um, we'll see. Let's get to, let's stick to fishing. I'm not sure about this pole. It, it worked, but uh i don't know this thing may be more trouble than it's worth so we shall see because if i got a i got a cast around it and uh all that good stuff so i'm not sure especially on a bass day i'll try it later and see um Try it later and see if and see what it does. All right, I think I'm gonna start with a little. I brought uh, a little bit of everything. Uh, a tube, Gary Wacky, a couple shad wraps. I'm gonna try this perch pattern first. Let's see if I can't scare up a scare up anything so let's see what happens here um, it's a gorgeous day and the water temps about 50 about 52 vision with vans that may have a fish on here it feels really little and it is a little bluegill but nonetheless it's a fish fish on Little bluegill. He hit the Rapala. Well, guys, just that one bluegill down this stretch um, on this uh, shad wrap perch pattern. So I'm gonna swing, go back up, and uh, I don't think I'm gonna float this stretch again. But I think I'm gonna go up there and try to get around the rocks and the shallow, shallow area up along the. A rocky edge up there and also go around Vance Island there and see what we got but uh, just that one little bluegill uh, bumped it and but that's it so far I may switch I'll try this a little longer and then I may go to the this purple color it's a little bigger too it's a shad wrap and uh, go to that and then just keep trying I'll have to throw the uh, 
the Sanko here pretty soon and obviously they're gonna spring. I'm gonna see if they're ready to challenge some uh, mustard, mustard colored tubes. So, nothing yet other than that bluegill, so stay tuned, let's see what happens. Advance, I think I got a fish. Yes, I do. Yeah, nice trout here. Yeah, real nice trout. Real nice trout. That will work. Alright, that's one. There we go. Okay. Just give me a second now. Alright, fishing with Vance. There he is. First trout of the year. Pretty nice one too. He wants a squirmy guy. There we go. Oh, that's a it's a beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Easy partner. Easy. Gonna let you go in a second. Hold on. Alright guys, well, I'm on the board. Pretty nice uh pretty nice rainbow trout there. Got him on the uh got him on the shad wrap on the uh perch pattern. This is the smaller, I think this is the JLSL4, it's a little smaller, uh, but he smacked it good, so hey, success, gotta love it, he felt good, he smacked it right up there by those rocks in the shallow, so gotta love it, let's see if we can get another one, this feels like a little, yeah it's a little bass I think, yeah look at him, a little large mouth. <laughs> it's all right. A little largey. It's okay. Take it. Little guy. All right. Look at this dude. <laughs> all right. This number three, though. First large mouth in a while. Well, first large mouth off the pelican this year. Caught a couple off the bank, but that's the first largey. See ya, buddy. Well, I'm gonna put this shad wrap down. I'm gonna try this one. This is the little bigger, as you can see color is purple descent bigger Let's see if I can't uh, scare up something with this they hit right off the back guys right next to the boat oh it's a good fish oh yeah that's a real good fish oh my gosh this is a real nice fish look at my net this dude this is beauty. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna net him. Yeah, now you come swimming by the boat. Come on. Oh, uh, he come off. That's okay. I don't care, man. I got a heck of a fight, and he saved me getting in the net. That was a nice trout. Real nice trout. Wow. He smacked that purple descent, boy, right off the uh, first cast. He smashed it. That was a good trout. Uh, man, that was fun. I went to reach to tighten my drag a little, and... Uh, let the pressure off him, but oh, that was fun. And he saved me the pro. <laughs> he saved me the trouble of uh, having to take his uh, take the hook out and flop all over the boat. So good for him. Sometimes a fish wins, and that's okay. I got a heck of a fight. Oh, that was fun. Man, that was cool. Good fish. I like it. <sighs> He hit that right next to the boat. 
right next to the boat. That was cool. He's able to pull the drag a couple times. The purple descent. Just showing again. I'll try to keep pressure on him this time. It's a little, just a little bass, I think. Yep. Little bass this time. <laughs> the purple descent's on fire. Well, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Um, I tried a uh, bunch of things, the Sanko and, and soft plastic there. The uh, truck goes by, sorry. The uh, mustard tube, that did not work. The only thing that worked was the, uh, the shad wrap caught a fish, I think a bluegill, but the purple descent uh, shad wrap, the size 5, um, caught one. And I uh, ended up with five, four or five fish, which I can't complain. That one real, real nice trout. Getting a hit right now as we speak. But I think it's just a little guy. Uh, what I'm doing now is just I have on a on a real, real small hook on my ultralight. I have these, these I don't know where we got these um, online somewhere. They, they look a lot like uh, live minnows. Uh, they're soaked in an oil. Um, and I have my real, real small hook, and I'm just kind of almost like threading a minnow, but it's on a real tiny hook. I don't know if you can see that or not. And uh, I've gotten a few little bumps, but uh, they're probably panfish that can't quite get that in their mouth. But it's been a great trip. I, pres I uh, appreciate you guys watching and commenting, subscribing. Like I said, I'm not sure this. Uh, I'm not sure this uh, anchor system is going to be for me. I may use it at another lake. I don't know. Um, definitely won't use it bass fishing. Um, so unless we carp and catfish off this thing this year, it's probably not going to get used. And even then, I'm not sure it's going to that it could be used enough at this lake because um, you know, we probably are going to want to be moving around to find the carp and catfish here. And I just don't think there's enough spots to get down 10 feet to anchor us up. So we'll probably have to go to the old-fashioned anchors. I'm not going to chuck the whole system. I'll probably keep it for some of my other spots just because some of them are even are pretty shallow. And and uh, and there's one lake we fish that's pretty much 5 feet the whole way around. Um, almost like a swamp and it, uh, it may work there so we'll see but uh, I'd say overall it was a great idea from Max Cast uh, Fishing that I, uh, I appreciate the suggestion because it did work it's just I'm trying it in the wrong spots I think so so that's gonna do it for today um, had a great time. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. This is just, we're just getting started on fishing, obviously, here in PA. Looks like it's clouding up. We're going to rain on, rain pretty soon. Don't rain on me. I'm going to get out of here first. But if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Love to hear from you. Comments are the best. Appreciate it. And uh, let me know what you guys think and how you're fishing. How fishing season is going for you so far. Early April here in 2021. So, without further ado, thanks for joining me. See you next time on the water on fishingwithvance.com. Burn out.